Okay, so first thing that I need to say is that I take no credit for this build. Uh, this is entirely Vaspid's build, and it is absolutely amazing. Um, if you don't know who Vaspid is, he's one of the best Frost Knight players in the world, if not the best. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description, and you should definitely go and check him out and subscribe. He posts insane solo Frost Knight challenges, where he solos with, like, you know, tier 1 wood only. Uh, it's incredible. All right. So this build is so good. Um, it's really efficient and it's very easy to rebuild after wave 14. Um, you know, the thing about superheated is when you're soloing it, um, you can't cover your entire base with a constructor because of the heat bubble around the burner. Um, so Outlander is the best class to use. But with Outlander, your base will get destroyed on wave 14, you know, the smasher wave. So having to rebuild it is something that you need to be prepared for. Um, so uh, let's uh, just get into the build. Um, uh, another thing about uh, Superheated is um, the order of building things matters greatly, especially in the beginning when you're really strapped from uh, resources. So um, don't worry about that. This video is just going to show the overall build. Um, if you want to know kind of the timing and the order of things, just uh, either watch one of Vaspid's videos um, or you can watch uh, my solo video, which I'll post tomorrow. Um, all right, so let's get into the build. Um, just like before, uh, this is the uh, blue glow burner, right? Pretend this is it, and we'll uh, build around it. Um, okay, so for superheated, uh, you know, you cannot build in a like five by five square around this burner. So you have to start your build um, you know, two tiles out, right? And you want to do uh, metal on the three like center walls, a brick on the corner, and then you just repeat this in a big five by five square, right? So three metal, um, two brick, and then three metal, right? And then if you remember from before uh, my last video, the terrain with the hill that's on um, all Frost Knight maps, or no, sorry, not hill, this ramp where the husks can come up, um, your build will always kind of hit this little nook in that, in that terrain. So you can use that as this corner. Okay, so on each side, you want to edit this middle uh, piece to a mid wall. And we do this for two reasons. Um, one is when you're coming back to your base to fill the burner, you can kind of hop through this little gap in the wall. Um, and also uh, having this wall have lower health than their surrounding walls will have the uh, husks focus on this, right? Um, and that's kind of what you want. You want the husks to be predictable. Okay, so we edit like that, then you ha I want to put two side walls around the metal um, with more metal walls. And the top you want is brick. Um, so the thing about uh, Frost Knight is you have to be very uh, conscious about what material you're using, especially as an Outlander, because you will run out of metal. And, um, you know, because you don't have your constructor base with recycling. So um, only use metal when you really need to. Okay, so um, on the corners, you want to block them off like this. So I just uh, put brick like this, surround it in walls, and edit the cones to point outward like that. And then just finish the surrounding walls right? like, like that. Okay, and we're going to repeat this on all four sides. Right, so brick roof, metal wall, brick, metal, edge of the cones. Right. And just do this on all the corners. Okay. 
So now you want to have uh, wooden wall spikes on these walls, right? And you want to make sure that they have heals attached on them, have heals attached. So the husks will be attacking these. You want these to heal up while you're out farming. Um, wall darts and gas traps. And um, for my wall darts, I actually reperked the the last perk here to have heals attached um i actually you know what i'll go over my trap perks um or i'll list them in my solo video uh, i won't do it for this video just to save time okay so yeah so like this so wall darts on the sides whoops you want to um you know, put a metal wall against that side of the terrain um, wall darts gas traps on top wooden wall spikes on there and we just repeat this on on all the sides so wall darts on the sides, wall spikes on the walls, gas traps above. And the most important ones <laughs> are these gas traps and uh, find, oops, and um, finding the bacon uh, that you need to craft them. That's like a huge thing that you need to make sure you do during the first wave of, of Frost Knight. Superheated. Um, you'll see in my video, I'm just like a frantic search for bacon. <laughs> okay. So that, 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 that. And you want to make sure that you block this off before you go off farming. If the husks are attacking from you know this side right here or this side right here, because they'll just you know, go up this ramp and right up over to your burner if you don't block that off. Okay. Um, and then uh, for the lava shield, it's the same as uh, the standard build, right? So it's um, at the edge of your little roof there. Um, go out you know, three tiles high, three ramps high, and three floors out, right? Same as before. So, right, because uh, you want to protect from lovers and flingers. Whoops. Okay. So, just to save time, I probably won't just I won't build this entire lover shield because you know I don't want this video to be too long. But you know, you 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 just build it like you did before. Um, on all four sides, right? Don't skimp. Here, it's the same. It's the same little corner block off that we had to do like uh, before. It just it, it matches the same shape. This build, so okay. And I'm gonna stick to this side as our example side because you know there's not much room to build on here or over there. So let's just use this our example as our example side. Um, you know you want to mirror uh, all all four sides the same, right? As much as you can. You know sometimes the terrain will make it so you can't like build as far outward as one side as the other, um, but you know just try to as much as you can. Um, okay, so on these three tiles. You want tar pits, right, to stop the smashers charging in. Um, and I put those on uh, metal floors. Um, and then I put two layers of, of brick out. And on this one, you want floor launchers, right? So if you look right above us, our lava shield matches up perfectly with these floor launchers. So it'll launch the husks outward and back like this. You want wooden Floor spikes on these, right, to slow them down on their way back in. And then um, on wood, I put um, the you know, anti airs here and there. Right? And then this natural terrain kind of gives you this corner block off. Um, but on, on the side that you don't have it, um, just make another block off. Right? Like that. Okay, so uh, one more wall out and wall spikes. Oops, I'm out of wall spikes. Greatest trap ever. 
I mirror it on this side. And then have a wall here in the center with a sound wall facing outward. And then two walls on this row with the floor spikes. I edit holes in the middle so that these wall darts can shoot through and hit all three tiles, you know, both of them. And then you want to put sound walls on those, right? They, the propanes don't tend to come through this center one, and if they do, they just get hit by this. Uh, they mostly come on these side ones, so these catch them. And then um, up above us here, so on this uh, second uh, row, the second row here, you put uh, six of these um, floor tiles, and you want to put ceiling electrics like that above. Right? And I think that's about it. You just, uh, yeah, you want to mirror this on all four sides. And, um, you know, like I said, your, your walls will get destroyed uh, in wave 14. And so when these walls in particular, this one and this one get destroyed, when you rebuild them, whoops, uh, put wall darts uh, over here to shoot down these rows, right? You're, you're not going to need these um, these wooden wall spikes later on. They're most these are mostly for like the the first few waves to hold off the husks, but after they get destroyed, put wall darts on these. And then you can also um, put wall darts at the ends here of these two rows, right? Okay. Hey, let me just think. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, so I'm still pretty new to this build, but uh, yeah, that that's it. Yes, yeah, that's it. So yeah, just mirror this on all four sides. And then another thing that's very important, like probably the most important, is for your defenders. Um, I'll put them like this. I make a little platform out here and uh, let me craft a defender pad so when you put the defender pad here uh, block him at, so after you place the defender block him with sidewalls and um, a ramp to force him to face uh, the center, right? And you actually don't want to use obliterators uh, for your defenders because you don't want them shooting through the wall at husks that are going to die to your traps anyways. You want them to focus on um, this center area, right? And they, they can actually shoot through these windows. You'll see them shooting at the husks like through these windows and stuff. And when your walls break, they will break and husks kind of bleed in here, your defenders, because you'll have three of these on, uh, you know, one, two, and three on each side. Here, let me just do that. Right, let's you know, pretend we finished the lumber shield fully. Oops, not too high. Yeah, too high. I just do this wall here for extra support. You know, if this gets broken by like a lobber or something, you don't want your defender dying. Right, so you see you have your defender here, here, and over here. Like that. So you'll have a you know, defender here, defender there, defender here, like all kind of uh, killing any husks that comes uh, in the middle area here. So while you're out farming and these walls break and husks bleed in, they're not going to get to your burner because these defenders will be killing them. And like I said before, so you don't want to use obliterators because you don't want them shooting and wasting their time killing things um, behind them. You want them only shooting at stuff in here 
so what you want to use instead um, is a bundle bus. And um, I have mine perked like this, um, crit damage, reload, energy, crit damage. Um, I have a crit rating here only because my defenders, my assault defenders, <laughs> really suck. And none of them have crit rating on them. So I had to put a crit rating perk here. But if you do have good assault defenders with crit rating perks, then you can have a third crit damage on here. Um, and then just have the stacking crit rating as the sixth perk. But uh, yeah, you'll see. They just like take out any husk that tries to get in like after a wall breaks and the husks um you know bleed in here they just get smoked by your uh by your three defenders all right and that is pretty much the build um it is so good so like on wave 14 when like all this has been destroyed like that Really, you just have to end up building, you know, these walls, which you're going to be spamming anyways during wave 14. And this wall with the sound wall on it. And, you know, sometimes they'll, like, break these side walls or whatever, but that's not not all the time. Um, and they may break, like, one of these. But you just, you know, come back here, stick a sound wall on here, stick a sound wall on here, and you're set again. Right? You could just rock and roll after that. So it's it's an amazing, amazing build. And it works very well. Like I so I soloed Superheated. Um and my recording didn't record the first uh, eight waves. So I had to run it again. And I just soloed it again, back to back with this build. Um because of how good it is. Um yeah, alright. So, if you guys like this content and want to support the channel, uh, please use code DIGGY in the item shop. I would really appreciate it. Uh, thank you to everyone who has used it. And don't forget to check out Vaspid's channel. He deserves all the credit for this build. Um, it is an amazing, amazing build. Um, okay. Yeah. I will uh, post my uh, superheated solo probably tomorrow. Yeah, so if you want to check that out, um, be sure to... Uh, turn your notifications on. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.